What's up, YouTube family? How you guys doing tonight? Hopefully good. Um, if you guys are watching this during the day, good afternoon. If watching during the night, uh, hello. Hello still. But um, let's talk about dance. Uh, what I want to talk about is just the way you got to move, you know what I mean? Um, the way you move and dance. Uh, first, you got to figure out who you are. Who, what kind of dance do you want to be? Do you want to be a straight popper, you know, doing all the hitting? Do you want to be just an overall fluid dancer? Do you want to be a break dancer but know how to, you know, move? Or just be a fluid choreographer type dancer? You know what I mean? you got to figure out what you want to do and go that route. Sometimes, you know, the route's different where you end up taking different routes. Like, you end up being a popper for a bit and then you start break dancing and, um... Sometimes what people forget is when you go a certain route, like I, I started break dancing. So after that, I was a straight breaker. After that, I, I learned how to pop, you know, just straight popping, not, not, nothing dancing wise, just straight popping. And then after that, I went the choreography route and I started learning choreo. And after the choreography route, I, I started doing freestyle. So, you know, every, everybody's different. Everyone takes a different route. Sometimes if you want to, um, all of a sudden, like, because in my opinion, freestyling is the easiest way to start off because all you gotta do is just view the music, you know? And you can just. Let me get some beats. I, I can't kick with in silence, you know what I mean? Even if I'm in my room, I like to play some beats. But. Uh, freestyling, it's all about just hitting off the top of the head, you know, what comes to mind and. Uh, you take all the knowledge that we taught you guys, dead stops, you know, um, musicality, move it to the beat. And you take all that, you apply it to your body, you play a song, and, you know, so you're, you're supposed to move to it. So, let's play an example, all right? There's a lot of, uh, Maloko, the time is now, a lot of beats. But if you take what we've taught you to apply to the song boom alright folks let's talk about another thing before I end the night um, let's talk about let's see here inspirations where can you get your inspirations from how do you stay motivated how do you um, keep on striving for what you want to do and, um, and I always say I use always use the term stay hungry but what does that really mean staying hungry to me it means more like you can never think you're really sick you know what I mean you can't get too big-headed of yourself and dance because you can't all of a sudden master the cycle you can't learn the side glide and then all of a sudden say I master the side glide I'm sick no one can really beat me you know what I mean because when you have that mentality, you think you don't have to practice anymore, you know? I mean, there's always something to practice. If your left wave is crappy, I mean, if, you're, uh, if your right wave is, you know, on points to shit and your left wave is crappy, work on it. You know, there's always something you can work on. Um, I went through a stage where I was kind of like, uh, you know, I don't really need to worry about this, this part of my dance because, you know, I got that down packed tight, you know? And then I see someone else and I'm like, holy shit. He's crazy. I need to work on some of my shit, right? So it's kind of it's an ongoing process. Um, what do you look for when you get un, you know unmotivated? What do you do? Uh, things that motivate me. Uh, let's see here. Jabberwockies mo. Jabberwockies mo. Jabberwockies. Uh, they motivate me. Um, let's see here. Just watching random YouTube videos of people dancing and doing choreo. To very sick, really sick songs that motivates me. Um, the way you can take an old school song and then dance to it, and I'm like, what? He's working that song? That motivates me because you know if I see someone else do it, what you know, what makes you think I can't do it? You know, what I mean? it's just kind of having that mentality, that mindset. So, um, and the thing is, set a goal. If you're trying to get better, you're trying to do something. Set a goal, like. Set like, all right, for the next two months, I'm gonna try to get flares. I'm gonna try to at least get half round or somewhere like that. 
If not, you're kind of messy, you're kind of everywhere. Work on an individual part of your popping. Like, if your popping is not on point, if your wave looks like this, make it look like this. Make it, you know, go in. So if your wave is like this, and it's really, you know, dinky, do it slow, break down every part of it, until you get it right. It's as simple as that, folks. Uh, don't look for, like, the dance secrets in the world. Just uh, pick up what you can, do what you do. YouTube has changed into this huge-ass community where you can just post up a video of you doing a really whack-ass move and you will get 20 comments of tips and advice on how to, you know, do some stuff. So we're taking it to the next level, right? Instead of doing tutorials that people have already done, uh, people are emphasizing on me and DZ, and Beat Rockers, Jeremy. Jeremy lives in another town, so whenever he can, he's gonna bust out some knowledge for y'all. But we're just trying to come with something new, something a little different. We're gonna break it down to the people. Um, the way people don't break it down, all right? So, and my thing about knowledge is, if you can do it, you know, I'll drop knowledge on you, you know what I mean? It's not like I'm trying to stingy with my moves and what I know. Um, if I drop knowledge on you and you can actually do it and bust, there we go. You can be like, Sean taught me something, you know? I'll be like, cool, hell yeah, you know? Because uh, I really don't realize how many people I'm changing, because I get messages on, on so and so, and they're like, "Yo, you you helped me, you know, uh, get on my dance team." Or some guys like, uh, "You don't know it, but you've been my teacher for a year." And I'm like, "What?" <laughs> like, I'm just living my daily life, paying bills, um, working, you know, a few jobs, you know, just to get in, you know, make ends meet and do what I like. So, uh, my advice to you is: do what you love. Don't get distracted by the other things in life, as in bills. Uh, girlfriend problems, you know, little bullshit that distracts you in life. Just do what you like to do, um, but get shit done, if that makes sense. All right? Don't just be a slacker in life. Do what you need to do, but then do what you want to do. All right? So that's my advice for the night. Take it easy. I'm knocking out beat rockers. I love.